I would now take the honor to invite the Honorable Minister Mary Ng, Honorable Minister Helena Jessic, and Deputy High Commissioner Amanda Strohan on the stage for a picture. Let's please have you here on stage. Thank you. so much. Mr. Agarwal, the stage is all yours now. You speak from your heart, sir. <laughs> speak from your heart. Okay. From my heart, I must tell you, I never seen something like this. What a bomb you people have. What a bomb simplicity, the love and the affection which I have seen, I have never felt ever in my life. I really, from the bottom of my heart, I wish all of you to do very well in your everything, in your health, your family, your business, take your business to the sky, work hard and make Ontario all Canada pride and proud. What a country you are living in. What a country you are living in. Niagara Falls, everybody come from all over the world to visit Niagara Falls and you live in this country. The scenic beauty and the natural beauty of this country. Have you ever seen anywhere else? No question. You have access to the government like anything. You can talk to them. There is no bureaucracy. They are so open for the business. So this is this is from my heart. What 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 do I say? I, I wanted to be very formal to make everybody thanks, Mr. Narutan Kodhari, the whole CIF, what you people have been the bonding. I never see this kind of bonding in Indian diaspora anywhere in the world. I've gone to all over the world. I live in London. I never see anybody talking against anybody. Everybody is together. This is, this can only happen with Cosmos is with you. This is, this is your time. This is, the time has come where you people are going to grow because you are in the country which, you, which gives you a lot of liberty. There is the other motherland you have which is India. Between them, how you can put it together, both have very, very similarity. We are agricultural land, Canada is in agriculture. We are natural resource which we have not been able to explore. Canada has explored. They feel very proud and pride that they produce this kind of uh, metal and the mineral. In technology, Canada is ahead of others. The way they, they, are, they are galloping in the technology, which is again between India and us together, we can do phenomenal. You talk about healthcare, 
I, I was meeting people, people were coming to me, everybody was talking about healthcare, medicine, innovation, what innovation is happening in, the, in Canada, I don't think we find anywhere else, and how we can put this thing together. I find the women empowerment is so much. I can see three ministers, two ministers has come, or three ministers has come, flown um, as from the federal. Mm -hmm. You have a, a Doug Premier. I never see down to earth Premier like this, who has who was so <laughs> proud of our Indian diaspora here. And he says, I'm going to leverage them to make sure my Canada, my Ontario, goes into the sky. Wow, what a word he was, he was using. So this is, this is, this, this what, and not from, not from lip service, he mean it. And he, I really uh, invite him, please come to India, be our guest, the India will greet you, and you will be my personal guest, we will make sure our Prime Minister Modi meets you. And please visit Gujarat and Punjab. <laughs> what else? In, there's so much similarity, everything what I, what I talk about. The, the way you people are, Indian people are growing their children, i never seen anywhere. I live in England, I lived in US, I lived in Australia, I lived in India. The way I see the tradition, the culture, what we have to respect the parents, respect your neighbor, respect your country, and this little bit of spiritualism, what I see in your Indian Canadian children, I have not seen anywhere else. <laughs> This, this, is, this, is, this is the country which, which really I can't believe in culture. I see Canadians are very open for the culture, very open society. They are not locked in. They, they, they respect what culture we have. I see when I move into Canada, I see the temple, I see the church, I see the Gurdwara, I see the mosque, and everybody respects everybody. So this is a very special country. Now let's talk about India. India has been a poor country. We all have come out to make sure we make our livelihood, we search for our job, we come and go all over the world. The time has reversed. What India is $3 trillion economy, going to be $30 trillion economy. You watch India, In India is a piece to hear, India is a place of entrepreneur. India is a place for now opportunity. I know that you people are very well settled here, very well settled here, but to India we are at least in lifestyle, at least 20 years behind than here. We need everything. The aspiration is so high. The fellow is in cycle. Want, want a, what do you call QB, right? Want a small scooter. A scooter fellow want a bigger scooter. And a car. A person who is living in a hut want a pakka makan. This fellow has a pakka makan. He, he, he want two bedroom flat, house. He want air conditioning. He want washing machine. The aspiration is so high, 140, 1.4 billion people. You can imagine the demand going to be. The middle class, which is about 20% today, going to be 80% in seven years' time, six to seven years' time. Our children are not going to stop. They are going to work. They are going to demand. Our women are the special, the girls, are intelligent. Now those days has gone. They couldn't marry and settle in the um, wherever you say. They want their right. They want to work. They want to work. 
they want to be entrepreneur and this is the india will change every house will have a clean water every house will have electricity every infrastructure will be built in india this this is going to happen which will give a opportunity we are going to build at least 150 big cities in india this you will see how in india we are we are the people who never attack we never talk any ill will for anybody it it is it is it is uh, whole vasudeva kutumbakam i'm trying to remember vasudeva kutumbakam whole world sare jagat hamara hai ye hamari india ki philosophy hai the kind every the largest democracy in the world and also i i encourage all of you please seriously look to make sure that you have made lot of money you have a lot of resources you have to look at how india canada what is the best both have we can put them together everybody is telling me tell your story what tell you what every i think your people's stories are much much harder hard hitting than me how you people have come i i heard at least from hundreds of people today who say they have come with a 5 pounds 5 dollar and how they have made it what is my story i had i had everything i had my parents but uh, but definitely they say you must tell your story so i come from bihar i originally come from rajasthan for three four generation settled down in bihar which is the probably poorest poorest state in india and kept, uh, my mother with the four children my father used to give her 400 rupees and for 10 years there is no i can say my mother is the best in the world the way she taken care of me i am here today because of my mother love and affection she will never she always smile at me she always said you come to me this you will get to square me you will be sleeping with me until i sleep she is not going to sleep with that that is that is what our india that is what i have uh, i have got blessing from my mother that's how i started i always kept my mother my mother on very matti do cheez ka mere ko har dam dimag mein rehta hai meri matti aur meri maa मेरी माँ बोलती थी तेरे से अच्छा कोई नहीं है तू कुछ भी कर सकता है बेटा तू आगे बढ़ बढ़ आगे बढ़ तू और द वे दी टू इंकरेज मी दैट्स वॉट द पावर आई लेफ्ट पटना टुक मी थ्री फोर डेज टू रीच बॉम्बे रीच देयर स्टे इन दिस स्मॉल प्लेस नवर सीन डबल डेकर बस इन माई लाइफ never seen a taxi never seen such a beautiful people in the uh, in bombay never seen such a high stories building and i said i'm going to live here most difficult was which is today also after living 28 years in england my english is not still good <laughs> get try work there work mm. there for as as a um, uh, collecting all this scrap from the cable company selling to the furnace from there i grew um, i got a company called samshed sterling mm. acquired that company it was in the bankruptcy i thought today i am the king of the world but that was my struggling point i realized how difficult to run the business to make the payment to the bank to fight with the union every day problem of crisis of money 
managing every day, everything, and that was my 10 years which I struggled but never give up. One thing I would say to young people, one word, never give up. Never give up. I always thought I'd do listing because money was a problem. I listed my company. Listing was done. I listed about $80 million. Our market came down and I become $40 million. And I said, why? And there was some news of, you know, we come from there, nobody, nobody recognizes us. I don't have any godfather. And everybody pull, pull us from left, right, and center and say, look, my company is so good. My company is so good. Why the value cannot go up? So I, I decided I, I, I never used to understand CNN and CNBC, but I will keep watching that because that is a business news. I might learn something. I might get something. So uh, this this was how the you know passion you have, whatever you are, you, are, you are doing. So I, I told my wife we'll go to London because we might get money there because I understand mining hub is there. Very young, young kids moved to London. My, my uh, wife, my daughter was studying. She was eight years old, seven years old, studying in a cathedral school, nice school. She she gone to the principal, said, my husband gone crazy. Please give me six months so I can come back because admission was very difficult. I'll come back and get my daughter here, but today I have to go and support my husband. My wife supported all my nonsense. So I tell all today, all of all our wife get all the credit. Please support your husband. <laughs> Two things important for our wife. Power of ignorance. Please, two things very important for all our wife. Power of ignorance and power of diplomacy. <laughs> power of diplomacy. And that's what I could see with my, my wife. Keep, she's uh, doing with me. And she says, all right, he's making a mistake. Let him do it. I'm going to support. I'm going to support. We came to London. It was so difficult four years living hand to mouth. But working with the accountant, lawyer, to bankers. I delist my company, cut it short, delist my company. I had made my board, which was, P. Chidambaram was my board. Sir Brian Gilbertson, who was the BHP chairman, was on my board. Sir David Gord Booth. I had to, to take the prominent people. I had gone to them one after everybody. Somebody told me that, can you cycle with me to Oxford? I cycled with him. I never cycled. Now I was a little plumpy also. You know, uh, foodie, what can you do? So, so uh, cycled with him, formed the company. It is all recorded, or it's all there. 2003, I listed my company. I got $2 billion. Wow. Government privatization program was happening. I got a lot of opportunity in North America to acquire company, but you know, Matri Bhumi ke liye dimag mein hoi chalta rata tha. India ke alawa kuch dikta nahi tha. India, India hi dikta tha. So I got in privatization program, bought 13 companies, Bharat Aluminium, Hindustan Zing, Sesa Goa, Madras Aluminium, Kane Energy, uh, when you name the company, I keep on acquiring from Kankola Copper Mine in, uh, in Zambia, uh, Anglo-American. You name the company, I keep on acquiring and got the money from uh, 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 London market, UK, uh, US market. After doing so much, I said, let's go to the technology side. And I started making optical fiber because I was in the cable business. We are the largest we started producing because fiber to the home is going to change the world. Now I only think connected with the world and the India. And India is very important that we are importing most of our thing. 
today india import all their electronics india import all their natural resource our 100 dollars 67 dollars goes into the import oil and gas so we have we have we have are gone with mr modi to japan in the delegation and there was a company which was available to make the glass we acquired that company called evanstrat which make glass which make uh, uh, part of semiconductor and that has given and i thought seven eight years i have been working on this company why am i after this company and why i have worked so hard i am not, not getting the reward perseverance is very very important we all have to be young people have to be very persuasive ek baar kisi ke piche pad gaye to usko leke chhode leke chhode मैं जब न्यूयॉर्क में आया तो मैं क्यूस में एक अपार्टमेंट देना चाह रहा था तो इतना डिफिकल्ट था क्योंकि वो सबसे सस्ता अपार्टमेंट था वो लेडी दे ही नहीं रही थी रोज में गुलाब का फूल लेके रोज सुबह सुबह चले आता रोज रोज एक गुलाब का फूल लेके चला जाता तो परसिवरेंस मैं देखता हूँ बहुत अच्छा काम करता है मेरे लिए तो काम काम किया तो वी 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 रियलाइज दैट हाउ आई कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू इंडिया India need lot of cell phone. Buying twenty thousand rupees cell phone, our common people can't do it. <laughs> Buying laptop at two lakh rupees, our India youngster can't do it. Buying TV at seventy, eighty thousand rupees, our we can't do it. And these three things are very important. I promise you, we will. I will make the glass. I will make the. Or we are making the glass. and we make the semiconductor and i invite all of you to develop the industry for making tv or anything else um, dashboard for the car related to this semiconductor make that you can make it via jugadu <laughs> please jugadu ka this is yes or i hover me ki jugadu mein bhi pehle hum log sochte the kharab shabd lagta hai अभी सबसे अच्छा लगता है अंतरिक्ष में भी हम जाते हैं तो वन टेंथ प्राइज में अपना अंतरिक्ष तैयार कर लेते हैं हम मकान भी बनाते हैं तो अपने सस्ते सस्ता बना लेते हैं तो ये हमारा हमारे ये डीएनए है इस जुगाड़ू सिस्टम से आई थिंक आवर इंटरप्रीनोर विल बी एबल टू मेक इन थ्री फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज सेल फोन वी कैन मेक आई एज्यूम एंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज एस लैपटॉप एंड With that, we will give thirty thousand rupees loan to the fifteen, sixteen years old children. If they have a laptop, they have a window to the world. Whatever they want, they want to do the classes. They want to learn some skill. Our young girl want to learn something. They can learn something. They know where to go, how to contact, what to contact, what to do. TV is very important factor in our household in India. you people have i have war war ahead of us but if they can get tv at 3 4000 rupees love to have tv in each house clean water as i said electricity free what will happen in renewable energy in india will be the world largest we are already gone ahead with the 2.5 megawatt because of our climate entrepreneurship is going to be the largest A renewable energy producer in the world. Have we are experimented? What I am going to do? I am not going to work. I am enough business.